make it another spontaneous comedy video. Uh, I love making myself laugh. If you can make yourself laugh, you can make other people laugh. All right, I've worked out some stuff real quick. I'm heading to come through at night in the rain. But anyway, uh, starting now, Jeff Ross is a comedian. He said, am I the only one that gets the Bible, Lord of the Rings, and Game of Thrones mixed up? <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah, well, I, this is random. Uh, Cat Lucky, I live with my Russian girlfriend. Uh, she would catch a mouse, and she took all day torture. And I was like, I saw one time the mouse was trying to get out the door. And Lucky sat there all patiently, and the next thing you know, um, you know, the cat thought she could get out the door. Lucky man, grab her real quick, like, where you going? <laughs> I thought that was, I just flushed down the toilet. It just made me laugh. These are things that made me laugh. Uh, never called Natasha uh, B I T C H. And she never called me a nigger. But the thing was, it crossed my mind. I remember we were sitting there, and we, it couldn't be any happier. And any couple couldn't be any happier than we were. We were both free spirit and outgoing, and uh, just happy go lucky people. And, uh, I remember we sitting there just hugged up and loved watching The Simpsons or something and she making Russian soup like borscht and then uh, everything seemed okay. Then she went to the sink and she looked at me like, you know, just stood there and stared at me for like a minute and I'm like looking at her like, what? And then, you know, like I was an OJ or something I'm like, damn, is this bitch crazy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's just funny. Then I remember one time I was the back of my actor in Alamy Bill. She was so sweet. I talked to Calissa Flockhart. She was really nice. The whole show was my favorite show to work on. My favorite, it's one of my favorite shows to watch. So I was coming home. I'd have a car then. And I was leaving um, the studio. And I was taking a bus. And I was wearing all blue. And I remember this young black guy came up to me. He goes, yo, where you from? And I was like, um, I'm from Philadelphia. And I'm in Los Angeles now. And he looked at me like, what? He said, what set you with? And I'm like, uh, I said, oh, I had these clothes I was carrying because you had to carry some clothes to the set for a background actor. And I said, oh, I just came from Alamy Bill. And he just looked at me like, what? <laughs> so that man just saved my life. Another time I woke down real quick. I'm getting going to the expressway. Uh, I'm trying to read this in the dark. Uh, me and Natasha went on a Miami vacation. We drove 200 miles to Miami. And uh, we didn't know women go topless down here. And I was like, yo, we both was shocked, you know. But anyway. And, and a judge. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm an EMT, uh, ambulance driver. And one time we took a guy, he was, uh, in the burbs, he was a, a heavy set white guy. He was actually a judge. And uh, uh, they say he had Tourette's symptom or dementia or something. And I swear on my life, he was telling his wife, and his wife was with him. And uh, she would say something like, uh, uh, My granddaughter was talking to the other EMT. Like, my granddaughter just went to uh, some college. And he goes, Shut up, bitch. <laughs> And he kept saying like four or five times. And he kept saying, well, he's that's what he, his mind is. I'm like, nah, I think he's just doing some karma. <laughs> he's like, I don't know. I don't know. To me, I thought it was funny. And then I mean, one time, Natasha and I was having sex in the, in the hallway. We lived in a Victorian house with six apartments. Uh, it was converting six apartments. And we was in the hallway one time having sex at, uh, you know, stand up at it. And I was like, well, when the neighbors came out and saw this, that was, that was really trippy. Uh, what else happened here? I got it down. Matt, a new man in college, he committed suicide over his wife, and um, he uh, well, he was wild though. He looked like he's black Chinese, and uh, he's as a teaser, he looked like that, uh, the guy from the Mac Boot Two Live crew. But anyway, uh, one time he was on his gold chains and he went to the mall. He told people he was L Cool J, and he believed him. And uh, but anyway, um, the main reason the way I met him was uh, on work study, uh, I was a lot. Uh, I was on the swim team at Lincoln University, and then uh, I went there as a lifeguard for work study, and he was, a, you know, the charge of it or whatever. And uh, the first day, I was, I was, I thought I was cool. We had a good look, strong body. I sit in a chair, and uh, first day as a lifeguard, and uh, he came out to, and people were in the pool, right? You know, deep end, a shallow end, and uh, he came out with a canoe and started actually canoeing in the swimming pool where people were swimming. <laughs> I don't know. He, uh, I remember one time we drove down the one-way street on purpose, uh, the opposite direction, and we hung at people like, you know, just move out. I don't know. I don't know, man. Sometimes being too reckless, uh, caught up with him, I guess. I don't know. It's a shame that he died like that. But uh, this is really reckless. I'm doing now. I'm trying to read this. Uh, oh, yeah, cats know their name. So anyway, uh, we had two cats, Lucky and Star. We had Star for 14 years and Lucky for nine and a half. And uh, Natasha, that's when better days she was in love and everything. And uh, she kept saying the name of something. They said, hey, they're so smart. They know their names. And I looked at her. I was like, well, not, they're not that smart. I know my name. And she looked at me, what? <laughs> she was like, they call my name. And she looked at me like, still. And I turned my head and looked at her. 
And she was just cracked up. You're so silly. And, uh, and oh, yeah, Black Olives. I saw this comedian one time. You, just, you should be proud to be black. Or you should be proud to be whoever you are, especially if your race been victimized and discriminated against. Uh, and you already know the history of uh, what happened in America <laughs> regarding brown skinned people. But I remember sometimes you get too far out there. And I remember this comedian, black comedian, he was showing about his uncle who got too race conscious. He'd be like, why they got the green olives in the jar and the black olives in a can? It's conspiracy, my brother. And I was like, yo, that's going too far. And I can't read this before. I might crash. So I'm about to stop. I like this video.